Well, now that Rob Lee's unlocked all the ancient secrets of Milner Library Systems, let's go talk to Kate James about cataloging. All right, Kate, tell me about your job. Sure. Well, um, I'm the Special Formats Cataloger slash Metadata Librarian. It's a long uh, title. Well, my title is very long, too. I'm the journalist in charge of procuring information from the public. My business cards are huge. Real big. What I do is um, I catalog special formats, and that would be uh, DVDs, CD-ROMs, um, basically anything that's not your typical book on the shelf. How do you decide what kind of DVDs and software to keep on hand at the library? That's a good question. That's kind of up to each individual librarian that selects the materials. Um, right now, like for the DVD collection, uh, we certainly purchase many of them based on professor recommendations, but we also have gotten some that are uh, just more for um, kind of more popular selections for people to watch. Each individual selector uh, goes at, but of course with technology, you gotta keep uh, ahead of what's going on because um, you know things get phased out. Obviously we don't really purchase many VHS tapes anymore, but we're almost all into DVD and CD-ROMs are really going away with uh, the internet, a lot of that information being found actually on the web. Now, I had a little bit of trouble finding my favorite book, Vampire in the Bathtub, earlier today. Can you fix that? Is it your fault? Tell us about it. I would have to t actually take a look at the record, which I don't have in front of me, so I don't, uh, I can't exactly answer your question. But that could be something to do with the move as well, because um, I do believe we do try to put call numbers in all the record. <laughs> Tell me about the leaks on the first floor. If, if a student comes in right now and they're really confused, please come talk to a librarian. We're, uh, in Bib Services, whenever an item moves, uh, basically that location has to be changed in the catalog if it's not uh, on the same floor. And so, uh, if again, if a student comes in and something doesn't seem quite right, please talk to a librarian because uh, uh, Bib Services is working as fast as we possibly can to make those changes. <laughs> this is Access Services. After the interview, Kate was nice enough to show us around her office. That means new books that come in. Yep, they order books, and this is where they come when they first come in, I believe. Um, and then serials. Uh, we kind of separate out into like monographs and serials, okay. just because electronic serials and just it, it, there's so much different attention that need, uh, needs to be paid to the two different. And serials yeah. like not like, fruit loops. And this is the most important part of our department, the food table. So, back here are librarian offices, and these are our catalogers. Um, a lot of them do materials based on subject areas. And this is kind of storage for now, but here is some of our leaks. And these um, black things up there are what catches the water, and basically it, they try to redirect the water. It's kind of uh -huh. like playing mouse trap, you know, the childhood game where you watch the ball go different places. Well, so it's kind of the same thing with the water. So where does the water go after it hits the black things? Uh, they get funneled. There's a bucket down there, I believe. The main bucket is in here, which used to be somebody's office. <laughs> Now it's the bucket room. Yeah, it's the bucket room because this one has broken a couple times. And you can see, I mean, there's oh, yeah. wear and tear. Yeah. Um, when this one broke, the water drenched this office and then rolled underneath. Do you put yeah. barcodes on the books down here? Is this the area where you do all your cataloging mm -hmm. work? Yep. I mean, I think, the, yeah, I'm pretty sure all the barcodes are pretty much put down here. Okay. Um, some th items are moved through quicker, like if there is already... We get many of our records out of a, uh, basically a global database, um, and we do some work. And if the Library of Congress has already cataloged those records, a lot of times we fast track them through, if, if that makes any sense, where we say, okay, we're just saying this record is good and move it through. Yeah. They've moved us up to the fourth floor temporarily, and we're hoping to move the whole department up to floor five. Okay. So that's How long will that take? Good question. Um, <laughs> I the, it's a big operation to move so many people yeah. with the electro, electrical uh, uh, needs that we all we have in cataloging. Obviously, mm -hmm. we all have our own computer terminal and phone right. lines and all that. Right. So um, uh, I do believe we're still waiting on the okay that we can do that. Okay. And if 
if that goes forward, then I think we'll be making plans in, I mean, at least a few months. Vampire in my bathtub. Okay. <laughs> I, will, I will look into that and All get right. back to you. Thank you. Again, feel free and tell anybody to please, if there's you know, any problems, please contact your friendly librarian <laughs> at the desk, and uh, people will love to help you. I mean, we fully understand that this renovation process is going to be confusing and time-consuming, right. and but we all love to help students and, and faculty alike, and um, so please approach us, and we'll do our best to find whatever you need. Despite all the leaks, Floor 1 still has its charms. Let's go find out what they are. to read a book when I have to hold an umbrella in this place. Well, we've had a lot of fun here at Milner Library. I'd like to thank all the lovely ladies of Milner, you daughters of library. Without you, this show wouldn't be possible. And it also wouldn't be possible without you, the viewer. Thank you. Now, if you're interested in volunteering here at Milner, you can call Sharon at 438-3525. I'm Blake Long, and I'm getting to know you. Sir, can you step back through here, please? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you have a book, sir. Oh, this? Yeah. Vampire in my bathtub? So embarrassing, guys. I'm sorry. Thank mm -hmm. you.